In this session, we're going to have a look at the export function within Dockhaven. Now, if you click on the file menu and choose export or type command D, then a window should appear showing you the search criteria that you may want to use to find certain projects. Now you'll see the export uh, uh, window is identical to the archive window. The main difference in using the two functions is that when we export projects out of Dockhaven it actually keeps the projects exactly as they were on the server whereas the archive function after it's finishing after it's finished exporting the particular projects will actually remove them from the cloud and mark them as having been archived okay now why would you want to use export export may be useful if you want to see all the particular uh, projects that you've got and uh, and make a copy of them elsewhere. Maybe put them onto a DV, burn them onto a DVD or an external hard drive or something like that. If you want to do normal full backups, I'd suggest you use the backup capability that we've got here that can uh, automatically do the same backup every night. Alternatively, we can choose items down here. So, for example, if we want to show all of the projects owned by us, we can click on Find, and there we go. There are all the projects there. Uh, a, a lawyer, if they were using the system, may for example want to use and search for all the projects belong to a particular client. Uh, if you find that you're running out of drive space, you may want to go off and find uh, some uh, all those projects that are larger than a certain amount of size on the server, so you can uh, move them off and, get, and um, ensure that you're within your quota. Uh, you may want to get rid of all the short-term documents, which are temporary documents uh, uh, on the server. Get rid of those projects. If you find that uh, uh, after you've accumulated lots and lots of projects on Dockhaven that you want to get rid of some, you may want to go and find all those that you haven't modified after a particular date. So you can see it shows us this date a, a year ago, and uh, so you can get rid of those particular projects which haven't been touched for a long time, uh, may make sure that they're exported uh, and yeah, set them aside, that sort of thing, or you may want to archive them uh, using the archive function. Uh, either way, the way, the way all you need to do is go through, find the particular ones that you want, specify them by, by clicking on the checkbox and putting in any, any, any necessary values, down below here it'll show you how many projects it found, the approximate size of those in um, uh, compressed format. It tells you how many versions and when they were last modified. Now it's essential down here that you come and have a look at this option here. If we choose latest version only, what it'll do is it'll go through all of these projects and only grab the latest version number. So for example, this project here has three versions. It's only going to bring down version number three from the server in the export. The other advantage of this system, uh, the export, is if, even if somebody has the project out, it'll still grab the latest project that's available on the server. So you don't miss out uh, on, on your export just because somebody has a project out. Okay, but if you do want to export that project, make sure they put it back first. The... Um, if instead, if you don't want just the latest version, you can actually choose all versions. So what it's going to do now is bring down all three versions of this particular project, all three of these, all two of these, that sort of thing, until it's got all of the projects and the versions coming down. Now you'll see that the decompress option is greyed out. When you bring down multiple versions, because they all have the same ID, uh, the version number uh, uh, will be the only thing that uh, can uh, determine one from another, and so you don't have the option to compress. So it'll come down as as 1414-1, uh, 1414-2, uh, 1414-3, and each all of them remain in a zipped format. 
alternatively if you say I only want the latest version you can if you want get it to decompress the project uh, after it brings it down so if you did want to put it uh, uh, download the latest project uh, unzip them ready to go onto a DVD so that you can get them off that DVD as quickly as possible without having to go through the decompression process uh, that that's another option for you but I'd suggest you just grab the latest version the default which is the latest version and don't bother to uh, uncompress it okay so that is how the uh, uh, export function works you click on the find button as soon as you've got a number of different projects showing up under there you can click on export it will then ask you where do you want to go and put that so I'll just put it into uh, a temporary folder on the server I'll just call it export and choose and you can see here it will now run that export and all of those different projects will come down one after the other and fill up this particular project so there we are there they're, they're coming down now okay so that is the export capability within Dockhaven similar to archive except it leaves all the projects on the server untouched okay thank you very much goodbye